All right, so we're gonna look at one of the most air drummed drum fills of all time. Even John Mellencamp himself in the video for the song very poorly air drummed this drum fill. Uh, it's played by Kerry, Kenny Arnoff. And this is, uh, of all the drum fills I've ever learned for gigs, this is the one that, you know, you gotta have spot on. Matter of fact, a couple weeks ago they called it and it had been a while since I refreshed on this and I missed a couple notes and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that Jack and Diane fill. I didn't get it exactly as I needed to. So this is, uh, this is a really well-known and popular drum fill. The only one I can think that would outdo it in terms of air drumming would be the Phil Collins in the air tonight, but come on, no one has enough toms to do that drum fill. Um, maybe I'll break that down one day. Well, this one's going to be about three bars long, played by Kenny Aronoff. Uh, it's it's essentially the, the fill's two bars long, but it kind of starts at the end of the bar before that and uh, goes into the breakdown for that song. And it's going to be about 104 BPM. Now, if you want the sheet music for this, there's a link below in the video description as well. I'll pin a comment in the comment section so you can snag that sheet music if you would like it. All right, so let's check out what is happening on this uh, well-known drum fill. In the first measure, it's it's got a program drum loop going on, and so the first part of the drum measure is simply that program drum drum loop. And so in the kick drum, you're gonna play one e and a, uh, and then the and of two, one e and a uh, two, and that's gonna be the first part of that measure that's kind of got that drum loop going on. That drum has been going for a while in the song. So four e and a. Now. The, drum, the, the acoustic drums come in right at beat three. And so on the upbeat of three, we have a kick drum and then snare drum on beat four. So three and four. Three and four. That whole measure. Four e and a one e and a two and three and four. Now we get into the meat and potatoes of this drum fill. Now, on the recording, sounds like there's four toms. But for this purpose, we're going to do it with three toms, uh, and you get, we're going to use the kick drum for that fourth tom. It's only used on one note, a uh, very bottom note. So if we'll look at measure one, or the first measure of that drum fill after the groove ends, we have on the and of one, we're going to hit on that kick drum. If you have more toms, then you can use the fourth tom, but we're going to use the kick drum for that. So it's going to be one and on the kick drum. Then beat two, we're going to have the E of two. So one and two, E and a. One and two, and a. One and two, and a. Then we move up to the next tom. If you have a rack tom, that'll be that tom. All right, and on three, we're gonna hit three on that one. So here's the fill so far. Four and one and two, E and a three. One and two, E and a three. On the end of beat three, we're gonna move to the next, the highest tom, so he goes in reverse order, okay? So we're gonna move to the highest tom, and it's gonna go three E and a uh, four. 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 Now, on the end of four, he's got a crash symbol that he chokes. So kick, drum, and crash, so it's gonna go E and a four. That whole measure. Four and one and two e and a three e and a four. And four and one and two e and a three e and a four. All right, I love this drum fill because it's a perfect example of just leaving some space in the beginning of the drum fill to kind of build some anticipation there with what's going to happen. The second measure is going to be uh, a little bit more packed with notes, and so we're going to go like this. It's going to start on the snare drum, so it's going to go one E, and then and is uh, empty, and then on the uh, we're going to hit the high tom again. So one E and uh. On the next note, we go down to that second tom. So one E and a, two E and a. 
one E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. Then on beat three, the beginning of beat three is empty, and on the E and the and, we hit this other floor tom. So three E and. The whole are the whole measure so far. Four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a. Four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a. Now you can lead with the left, you can lead with the right, whichever is more comfortable for you. And then he ends this drum fill with a triplet and going down the toms. So on beat four it goes triplet. Four dot. Triple it for lolly. All right, so that whole measure. Four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a triple it. Let's play the whole drum fill together. With no click, it's going to go four E and a one and two E and a three E and a Now let's put a click with that and see how that's going to sound. I'll start with that first measure and play the groove. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now let's hit this thing up to tempo at about 104 BPM. And then they go into the bridge groove or the breakdown groove, all right? So that is going to be, if you're playing in a cover band situation or this song ever comes up, that is like a staple part that we really need to know because you're going to have everybody out there air drumming it. They're going to be air drumming it probably better than John Mellon can't air drum the thing in the video. It's really bad. But um, <laughs> nonetheless, it's a very recognizable part. And anytime I see that in a song, I want to take it and put that in that song because... It's a staple. If you're ever wanting a different online drum lesson experience, go check out the Drum Better Daily program over at stevensdrumshed.com. Uh, it's going to be organized. It's going to be focused. It's going to be catered to your specific needs. I'm very involved. Got a killer community of drum warriors on there. Over 65 uh, lesson courses in there, eight, eight to 10 lessons in each of those, hundreds of lessons for you to choose from, a great thriving community. And me, I will be there to help you all along the way. And we'll even help you make a personalized lesson plan if that's something that you need. If this video has helped you, hit that thumbs up button, share it with somebody you think it may help as well. Leave me a comment. Let me know you stopped by. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button because I'm putting out new content every week. But no matter what you do, I'll see you here in the next video.